saw huge celebrations earlier in the week and tomorrow you've got the prospects of winning the first ever domestic treble. It's uh, the final and hopefully we can celebrate it uh, primarily the Carabao Cup, the Community Shield, also the Cup, Saturday, Sunday and especially Monday with our people here in Manchester. I can feel for the fans it's very special. It's been a long time since this club has won it. I remember watching the FA Cup as a kid and what it meant to my family. It's the only one that I'm missing from my cabinet that, you know, you can win in England. The home of football, it's just special to play there. There is some special atmosphere. We are really looking forward for the game. Everyone wants to play at Wembley. The harbour of the stadium is uh, full of young fans, so um, it's just like amazing to play there. Lucy of, of all the City fans and little things like that you remember forever. So I woke up this morning and, and I thought this is the hardest speech I've ever done in my career because it's the last game of the season and this team has already been so successful. So what do you tell a team that's been so, so successful to be motivated to go and play and give everything against a team like Watford? The only thing I can say is, if today we're not just playing for the FA Cup, we're playing to win the English treble, it's not because of 11 players on the pitch, it's because of every member of this team and every member of this staff. All I'm asking you is to the 50 people who are now in this dressing room to push the last, to push everyone, because this English treble is on all of our names, all of our names, but we need everyone today to push this team over the line, okay? Come on, boys!
Manchester City making history. A treble of trophies that's never been won before by any of the great teams that have gone before. Yes! Manchester City have won the FA Cup. Manchester City have won the lot this season. It's a positive group, young young players and, and talented and and of course you need quality and that's why we did it. You can't dream about it in the beginning of the year. You wanna you wanna do the best as possible. And to end up, yeah, you know, with the with the treble and with the community shield also it yeah it's fantastic. This week was incredible. We could achieve uh, something unique, you know, uh, part of the history of this country. Growing up here, growing up seeing this get built, you know, it's a, a dream come true to be on this football field and, and winning trophies is a, a massive dream come true. Good patches, everything. I've experienced <clears throat> everything with a club that I love. Um, I'm so grateful. Ah, it's not going to be my, my best speech because it's the most emotional one I've ever given in my life. But I'm glad that this was my last game. And um, I wouldn't have wanted any different. But I just want to say that you guys. Uh, the best group of people I could have finished my career at City with. I gained new family members, and I think you'll realize it by the end. When you get to this point in your career, the people you remember are those that were there in, in, in special moments with you. And everyone here is, is part of my family. The challenge for you boys is now to be even better. And I know it's difficult to say you've won the English treble, but you haven't won the Champions League yet. And, and that's your goal now. You've got such a group of players that can achieve anything they want. Don't ever let it slip because before you know it, you'll be doing a speech like me crying <laughs> and it's the end of it. Trust me, it goes that fast. Um, so let's have a party, good celebration. And again, thank you very much. club I found when I arrived, he helps to build it, and I think this will do so beautiful. Because it's, everyone is everyone, but uh, he has a special speech, he believes all the time when he says what he thinks, and we will miss him. I will miss him a lot. It's an incredible part of the history of this club.